Hi, everybody. Amy Sweezy here in the green room, and I'm so excited to introduce you, which you probably don't need an introduction to my next guest. This is Billy Nolan, of course. He is the uh, acting administrator for the FAA with 33, more than 33 years of experience in the aviation industry. And uh, you've kind of got your finger on the pulse of the aviation industry. Thank you for being here. Well, thank you for having me. It's, uh, it's a great opportunity to be here. I can't think of a more fitting uh, place to be. Uh, I know that this is the first time that I've been having this skill in quite a while since the pandemic. So I'm excited to join with the entire NBA team and that, as you know, walk in the convention floor. It is just an amazing place to be there. So thank you very much for having me. Can we start by just sharing some of the top initiatives, some sure. of the big things you're working on at the FAA? I, well, I think of three things. So number one is how do we safely uh, enable and integrate new entrants like advanced air mobility into the national airspace system? Number two, how do we create the regulatory framework that makes that possible and then do it in time so that when the first one takes flight as early as maybe 2024, we'll be ready and they'll be ready. And lastly, is uh, my goal is to continue to move the, uh, the FAA, I'm sorry, to being a more f uh, predictive organization. We've been very good at being proactive. I want to move us into the fully predictive space. One of the things I was excited to see on the exhibit floor is the AAMs. Yes. Can you speak about that yeah. and some of the safety concerns as well? Absolutely. You know, so walking the floor is the same thing. Uh, I see you've got Whisk, you've got Supernal, you've got Joby, you've got others. And so these are some amazing concepts. What it shows is that we're at a real inflection point. This is stuff we used to think of as science fiction. It's really happening, right? And so when we think about it from a safety, it goes back to what I said earlier. How do we make sure that we safely integrate them? How do we ensure that they operate appropriately? How do we make sure that our national ecosystem is ready to, uh, to accept all of these new entrants into the market? So that's what concerns us. Uh, and that's not, not so much of a concern. That is what challenges us. And we're certainly ready to rise to the challenge together with the industry. Sustainability is one of the big things, of course, that we're you know, talking about here at MBAA 2022. Can you speak a little bit to that, how important it is? Absolutely. You know, we just came back. We just concluded a successful conclusion to the 41st IKO Assembly. Part of that was advancing one of the U.S. long-term goals, especially with the Biden-Harris administration, about how do we get to net zero by 2050. So I'm happy to report that coming out of the ICAO assembly, 193 countries signed up for a net zero by 2020 goal, which was our long-term aspirational goal. That was an incredible achievement. It took leadership on the part of not only the U.S., US USA, I'm sorry, but our partners just around the world to make that happen. Flight security, another big topic. Can you speak to that? You know, I have a very close working relationship with uh, with TSA, with Homeland Security. We, you know, after safety, uh, security, safety and security go hand in hand, right? So we're forever updating our models. We're forever updating uh, threats that we might perceive to our national airspace system and ways to address those. That's an ongoing um, activity. And we feel very good about that. I feel comfortable that we have the right controls in place, but we never claim victory. What about workforce development? Any challenges? Well, when we think about it, I think the FAA, the government, is, is similar to where industry is. We're coming out of the backside of uh, the pandemic. We're all sort of reimagining what the future work. But I can tell you, uh, the FAA is one of the most attractive places to work for in the federal government. We recently did a solicitation for new air traffic controllers. We receive almost 60,000 applications for 1,500 jobs. Uh, and so many of those from uh, underrepresented groups as well. So I feel very good about that. But that also means as we think about everything we see here on the convention floor, right? What does the future look like? What is the next generation who's gonna come after all of us? So they're ready to make sure that we have a level of safety, that we embrace innovation. And as this all comes together, I mean, this is real. This is happening now. All right, Billy Nolan, thank you so much. Thank you very much for having me. Acting Administrator of the FAA. We're so glad you could enjoy us and enjoy the rest of the conference. I will indeed. Thank you very much for having me on today. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. All right.